Hi, I am Elizabeth Bass and I am the Youth and Young Adult Minister here at Holy Name of Jesus Cathedral. And our young adult leaders would like to share with you how your support of our new parish building will not only support their efforts in growing the young adult community, but also help build the community here at Holy Name of Jesus from now and in through the future. God bless. Hi. My name is Kenneth Ball. I've been a small group leader for about two years. For many Catholics, engagement with our, our parish ends after they're done with youth ministry or uh, done with RCIA. Uh, so small groups are an opportunity for us to build up our sense of community uh, and even overcome the culture of divisiveness that we find ourselves in. So the coronavirus has made uh, safely meeting complicated. However, with a mix of uh, using my garage, uh, virtual meetings and getting vaccinated. We, we are as strong as we've ever been and uh, have been able to really maintain engagement in our group. But while in individual group meetings are generally hosted by leaders or members, the lack of good uh, communal space for planning and hosting events has really limited our ability to expand our groups uh, and engage together in a larger group setting. So groups grow both through the intentional promotion from the parish and also through word of mouth in the community. Uh, and both avenues are limited by not having communal space for the broader parish. So I do think once we have a parish center, people are going to spend more time getting to know each other and engaging in our community. And so for that person that you see at mass once in a while who you, know, you want to invite to your group, it's going to be a lot easier to do that over coffee and donuts than catching them on their way out the door. And I'll add, add as, as a parishioner with a young family, with young children, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having a social space to embrace our community. That's why I am supporting our parish building campaign. I love that our cathedral community has a rich history and is constantly welcoming of new people. Uh, and I hope that through this process, our parish continues to grow towards intentional decision making and engagement with everyone in our community. Well, let's not just be a parish for Catholics that want to go to a traditional pretty church. Let's be a church that intentionally engages with and ministers to the many, many people that are not traditional cathedral goers. Let's be a place where lapsed Catholics can rediscover and be reinvigorated in their faith. Let's be a place where non-Catholics can discover the joy and transformation of a life in Christ. So for these reasons, I hope you'll join me in supporting our parish building campaign. Hi, I'm Bethany Van Scooter. And I'm Adam Van Scooter. Uh, we've been Holy Name of Jesus adult, Young Adult Leaders in the Bible Studies here for about two years. We're going on our third. Mm -hmm. Are there limitations on what you can accomplish as a ministry due to lack of space to plan, host, or educate? Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> yes, there um, are. <laughs> we're lucky enough to have uh, members of our Bible study that have a nice backyard. We usually take advantage of um, when we can. Our home isn't quite equipped for a large group. Yeah, that's the thing. I think a lot of young adults, they live in small spaces. Yeah. They live in apartments or they live in small like homes or townhomes. And so it is hard to find places to meet. If you meet in a public space, it could be extremely loud and not feel as safe to be your authentic self and like talk about your faith openly if you're in public. So that's definitely been really hard. And I know that we don't have the parish hall yet, but having that kind of centralized location would be really great for just not only the individual groups to be able to meet and have that safe space, but also for the large groups. Well, and one other thing um, that our group specifically has brought up is that they want to be in communion with the rest of the community, like yeah. not just our small group, but have all the groups come together. And we've been working to do that, but it's been very rare to have big events like that. And obviously, so um, it's hard to do. Parish Center would be great uh, just for that as well. Uh, it would be really nice to have this common space as like a home base. And I think that it would improve the overall cohesion and organization because I think it can be difficult when you have a lot of different small groups and they're meeting at someone, a different house each time or group number one meets at Bob's house, but group number two meets at Jill's house. And like, it, it can be really daunting, I think, if you're not a part of this community already to have to be like, okay, who's Bob? Who's Jill? How do I figure out like how to get in contact with these people? If you would like to support the building campaign here at Holy Name of Jesus, please visit raleighcathedral.org and go to the give button at the top of the screen. That way you can help support these young adults and their efforts to build the community stronger together. God bless and thank you.